Hey guys, welcome back to the Critterverse. I have a tray. And it is a small tray. Well, I say small. I'm over here making all the noise trying to find my measuring tape. Sorry. It is do 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 about seven inches by four and a half ish um, oval from Timu. Um, and since tomorrow, yeah, uh, is St. Patrick's Day, I'm gonna try to do something St. Patrick's Day E ish. Day E ish. That's the new technical term. Uh, I have four ounces of J Diction Fast Cure Four Hour Demold. This mold holds about six. I measured. Uh, with water, not resin. You know, what a waste. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. This has been sitting for a few minutes, just sort of debubbling itself and thinking about what it's done and contemplating its what it wants to be. And so I'm just going to pour this in. Hi. Happy, uh, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. Excellent excuse to eat. Uh, I think my roommate Kevin is making uh, corned beef tomorrow. So I look forward to that. I do enjoy myself some corned beef brisket. Mostly because it's squishy. that's in there we'll let that sit for a minute just kind of settle and we get our miss our friend mr tiny torch and just go over to try to get some of those little surface bubbles out and i don't know if anybody's noticed but i put down a new silicone mat huh over my heating uh heating mat that's right I've gone from purple to blue. I just figured it was time that one had gotten so mucky uh, that it was time to clean it. So I put down a fresh one. And I just got these silicone mats, I think from either Timu or Amazon, one of the two. I don't know. It was a three pack of different colors. It was like purple, yellow, and blue. And I thought about putting down the yellow one, and then I was like, mm, no, that might cause too much of a color contrast with some of my projects that I do. So I decided on blue. I hope you approve. Right, so since this is fast cure, it is very thick. Viscous, if you want to get technical about it. Hello, Mr. Resin Persuasion Tool. Just decided to roll in, literally. So now that I've gone around the edges, go around, try to get some more bubbles, which is virtually impossible at this point, but. So I have a bunch of, well, a bunch, four of these ER Core Art resin pigments that I got in a set from Mr. Bezos. Uh, gee whiz, about a year ago. They last forever, so. I have green, I have grass green, I have olive green, and I have white. So, since we are going for the St. Patrick's Day theme, I figured greens would be appropriate. So I'm going to start with, let's try grass green. I'm just going to clean off the tip here because it does tend to go, we don't want that. Uh, and since this is epoxy resin pigment it is thicker than alcohol ink and i'm doing that by design why you ask because i'm going to try to get more of a localized shape um in that i kind of want to see if i can do clovers so that is my plan if it works 
fantastic. If it doesn't, okay. So here's grass green. Bloop. Bloop. Here's some sound effects. Very fancy sound effects. Blooping. Blooping sound effects. And now I'm going to go in with some olive green. This is actually a very nice shade of green. It's almost a khaki. Hence olive. Um, five? Yeah. I like odd numbers and things like this. So we're going to let that kind of sit for a second. And then we'll add our white. And I was running out of white epoxy pigment. Uh, so what I did is I put a very tiny drop of pigment paste white, my Illumilite, in here and then just filled it up with alcohol. Shake, shake, shake. And now I've got my white uh, pigment refilled, which is very nice because I was running out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a drop of this in the middle of each one. Just kind of see what it does. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I made it too thin. Maybe I made it too thick. You never know. It looks a bit thin right now, but that's okay. I'm fine with that because we all know resin moves from the inside out. So what it's going to do is it's going to push itself back in and we'll end up with some cool shapes. Um, what those shapes are, the world may never know. Uh, so we'll just kind of see what happens. This isn't a very, you know, labor intensive um, thing going on here. I just kind of want to give it a shot and see what's doing. Um, experimenting. Experimenting is good. I enjoy a good experiment. <laughs> Does anybody else have the problem that when you're working with sticky things or resin or glue or dough, batter, whatever, that as soon as you start messing with something sticky, your nose starts itching? Does anybody else have that thing? I do, and it's obnoxious. <laughs> So um, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my resin persuasion tool, my dotting tool, and this is the very, very fine one. It's very teeny on the end and just sort of go through making shamrock four petal ish type sort of abstract shapies. You know, much like a 3D balloon, but you know, just sort of just making little petal shapes. Wiping off my stick between. I don't want to do, I didn't want to do like a traditional 3D balloon here. Um, mainly because I just wanted to experiment. I just wanted to try and see what's, you know, what I could do with just alcohol inks or pigments or whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to see what I could do with it. Um, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then okay. Uh, so we'll just kind of go from there. So I'm going to let this settle for a second and see what it does. And we'll be back. Okay, it's been a few minutes. And I've decided that I want to add more of this olive. So I'm going to. And one in the middle. One, two, three. So let's let that spread out. I'm just kind of liking the the subtle, you know, subtleness of the very wispy little flowers. Kind of digging it. And then put. Bloop. 
a drop of that in there. Dance it, dance it, dance it, dance it. That's pretty. I like it. Or sound effects for you. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm. Hmm. She said, I am going to use some caramel alcohol ink. Like I said, again, this is an experiment. This is a journey into sound. Stereophonic sound. Does anybody remember that song or is it just me? put that in the middle here of our little flower slash experimentally experimental blobby doodles and then layering 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 mojito from ranger space ranger can you tell that I'm actually in a pretty decent mood right now? I slept for like a solid eight hours, which is very odd for me. I don't sleep uh, very much at all. Um, sort of an anomaly that I do. So I'm feeling refrescante. Um, right, okay. So let's do some more white here. Let's do in the middle. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. Yeah, I know. Hey, Rev, you need help sometimes. Yeah, I'm aware. Kind of nifty. This may shift into a completely different type of um, project. What started as a St. Patrick's could turn into something completely different. But you know what? It turns out what it turns out like. I'm good with that. I'm trying not to add so much ink that it gets that sort of skin wibbly, wobbly weirdness on the top, you know? Uh, so how about some pistachio, Ranger? Boop. 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 Ooh, one in the middle. It's interesting how this over here is sort of turning a bit turquoisey brownie, brownie, turquoisey brownie, really? Hmm. In what universe is turquoise and brown the same color? Okay. Uh, yeah. This is looking actually kind of cool. So now within the alcohol ink, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more because those were brighter alcohol inks. I'm going to go in with some more of the olive green pigment. And this, honestly, this could end up looking like a uh, camouflage hot mess. Who knows? I'm just digging it. And thank you guys for bearing with me and being patient with me while I go through this manic process. Uh, and I can say manic process and not be offensive. 
hopefully, to anyone because I am bipolar. So uh, I do have my manic moments. I do believe I happen to be in one of them right now just simply because I got some rest. Um, so now, okay, see how these little white bits are starting to come in in the middle and make sort of stemmy, petally duders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do, to take that to my advantage and make some shapes. Let's do some shapes. Shapes. Stranger from the outside. All hail risen, all hail risen. Oh, tree, can you see? <laughs> yeah, I know, I need help. Uh, okay, you look like you want to be in a different shape. So I'm gonna help you along with that journey. Okay, I'm getting to the point now where it's Rev, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Let it do its thing. Stop fussing with it. Stop fiddle farting with it. That's our technical term for the day, by the way, is fiddle fart. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop fiddle farting. I'm taking off my gloves. So that means I am officially going to stop fiddle farting because I am taking off my glove. Hi. Um, I don't know if you guys could see me or not. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to stop farting around. I'm going to doo -doo -doo, try not to set my mold on fire, but burn off some bubbles. This tray is on fire. Great. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Hi, my name is Rev and I can't leave shit alone. Oh, <sighs> so. It's been about, I don't know, half an hour or so, and I just, uh, I just kind of want to do something else, you know, like I said, experimenting. Um, so I have some stuff. What am I going to do? This is Ranger Alloy, in frame, uh, Ranger Alloy Gilded, which is the gold version. Um, and basically what it is, it is a gold um, alcohol ink and it, uh, it makes things gold. I don't know. It's an additive um, that I use on some stuff. So I am going to clean off the top because this stuff spits. And as you can hear, whoop, hi, <laughs> wee. Um, it does have a little ball in it, a little ball bearing, um, to help it, uh, mix itself. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is still, the resin is still quite squidgy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go in a couple of areas and just kind of plop some gold down. There we go. And it is going to move around and I'm okay with that. I'm also going to try something a little bit different and now for something completely different. Um, I am going to try to use some silicone oil uh, um, and this is just you know 100% pure silicone transparent low viscosity non-toxic odorless. Uh, I got it from um, Michael's craft store you can get it damn near anywhere. Um, and I am just going to use a very, very finite amount. I'm not even going to use the dropper. I'm going to put a little bit on the end of my, uh, the end of my fine dotting tool and just You know, and uh, 
this crafting thing is a way for me to channel my energies into other things to hopefully help me, you know, in a creative way. And if anybody else is having issues, hopefully help them too, realizing that, you know, you can do it. It's doable. Okie dokie. Uh, so the next thing that we have to do is, since I used the silicone oil, I have to make sure that I get it all off of the surface because it will rise up to the top. So since we're all cured, I'm just going to go over it with a paper towel. See, you can see all of the oil that's coming up off of the top. So I just want to make sure that I get that good and cleaned off because it will affect the next layer of resin. And you can see the silicone traveled around and did cool stuff and made these really neat little patterns and cells and stuff in the ink. So that is very cool. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of my alcohol spray just to make sure that I get all of that oil off of the surface of the resin. So over here to the side, I have two ounces of my uh, J-Diction Fast Cure 4 hour demold. I need to think of shorter names for these things. But, you know, I think, well, you know, anyway, but I digress. Um, I have been very happy with this uh, J-Diction um, Fast Cure. It is very, very good. Uh, it degasses itself very well. Um, rarely do I get bubbles, um, unless they're my fault. Um, so, I like it. And this has been sitting for a little bit. Um, getting acquainted with each other. So I'm just going to pour the rest of this clear over the top of my tray. I'm going over this, making sure I get all the little corners. You know, because obviously uh, round things have corners. Uh-huh. Work with me. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Actually, I guess it would just be one big corner. Let's just let's just call it one big corner. Okay, sounds good. Okay, do that. Clean off my stick. Or at least just you know wipe that extra doodah off of it. The technical term is doodah. And grab my tiny torch. Do -do -do. Surface bubbles. Surface bubbles. Okay. So we're just going to chase bubbles for a little while. And, uh, yeah. We will uh, come back for probably the demold. Yep. So there. I'll see you soon. All right, it's time to demold our tray. So let's get it out. Nice clean mold. The back looks great. And here's the top. Look at that. That is very cool. It does have a couple of little fingerprints on it. Sorry, I'll get those cleaned off. But 
but look at that. It turned out really well. I like the fact that it's clear. And that just really, that just really turned out very cool. Let me get a piece of lighter colored paper so you can see what it looks like on there. Look, isn't that cool? So for a uh, fly by the seat of your pants, slightly manic project, I think it turned out really well. I like it. Um, probably edge it in gold or something. And uh, actually, I've got my gold paint pen. So let's just do that. Um, go around the edge. Planet. That's cool. Yeah, so I'll do this and then I'll take pictures. So thank you guys again for joining me. I appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Take care. Cheers.